Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists. This one is titled, Prophecies in the Bible. Now, I got saved in December of 1986. So it's been about 31 years. I recall very clearly when I got saved, what I had learned, and my conclusions. I believed that I needed to put my faith in Jesus in order to go to heaven. I believed that God loved me so much that he would become a man, Jesus Christ, in order to die for my sins. I believe he did die for my sins. My sins were paid for. I believe that he rose from the dead bodily, proving he has power over life and death. He gave us this resurrection as a sign so we could have confidence that our faith in him was justified. I believe that he promised me I'll go to heaven if I'll trust him. And I've, I've continued trusting him now for 31 years. But initially, everything that I believed was based upon faith. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The Bible says we walk by faith, not by sight. Um, so, in other words, I didn't see Jesus healing the blind and the lame and the deaf. Uh, I didn't touch him and put my fingers in his wounds. And I did not uh, witness this death, burial, and resurrection. But I believed in it anyway. And Jesus said, Thomas, now that you've seen me, you believe, but blessed are those who have not seen me, and yet they believe. That was my initial faith in Jesus. It was without seeing, without proof, without evidence, but pure faith. But over the, the years, uh, I've been able to study a lot, and I found that there's overwhelming evidence and proof that my faith in Jesus and the Bible is justified. And to me, one of the greatest proofs are the prophecies that we find in the Bible. There are thousands of prophecies uh, written, and these prophecies, uh, many of them are just very, very clear explicit, detailed prophecies, uh, predicting things that would happen years later, decades, even centuries later. And these prophecies have come true without fail. There are over, over 300 prophecies in the Old Testament about Jesus, uh, and they're gr in great detail, and they're all fulfilled. And God even tells us in the Bible that he would predict the future in order to prove that uh, he is God, and that uh, you, can, you can trust him and believe in him because uh, he's providing these, uh, this prophecy, predicting the future as a proof. Now, these Bible prophecies are not like uh, just going to your local poem reader or your local psychic or, or uh, astrologist. It's not like reading Nostradamus or Gene Dixon or the, the, these peoples are they're, they're, uh, their predictions are, are, are vague and, and inaccurate. But in the Bible, it's 100% accurate. 
and, and as I said, it's in great detail, and it is easily documented that these prophecies are fulfilled. So I'm offering you this playlist if, if uh, this will be helpful to you to reinforce your faith, to give you the evidence that supports your faith, or it can also be used uh, for the skeptic. Providing the skeptic these prophecies will open their eyes, and there, there is no way around this conclusion. Uh, if the Bible predicts uh, events in the future with great detail, with 100% accuracy, uh, then it truly is the Word of God, and I need to read it, and learn about it, and do what it says. And the most important thing the Bible tells us is that we must put our faith in Jesus Christ for our salvation if we want to go to heaven. So, there's um, on this playlist, I think I've got, uh, there's 13 videos. Some are short, some are long. It, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty comprehensive and thorough. So, I hope you'll watch it, and I hope you'll share it. Bless you. In the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.